Hello everyone, Kuchu for the win here. Welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. And today we are going to be unlocking our next solo, a Star Wars story character. And that is going to be Kira. Uh, this is Han's lady crush in the movie. If you haven't seen it yet, it's pretty good. I enjoyed it. Um, I was a little skeptical going in. I won't spoil anything, so don't worry. But we are going to learn and unlock Kira. All right, so Kira, young Han Solo, and Vandor Chewbacca can become prepared. Prepared is a special effect that adds bonus beneficial effects to some of their abilities. So, uh, each character gains prepared and uses it differently. Kira, for example, gains prepared if a single enemy is critically hit more than once before the next turn. Kira can use prepared to call on the assistance of all other prepared allies. When Vandor Chewbacca is prepared, he can revive a fallen ally. When young Han Solo is prepared, he can give prepared to another ally and restore his protection. So, um, I mentioned it in the Han and Chewie videos, I believe. But basically, uh, prepared is just a buff. It's, it's not really a buff, it's just a kind of static thing that um, once you pretty much have it you fill out a clause in certain abilities that allow you specific uh benefits so like she was talking about all their benefits so but that's just an overview of what prepared is so we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and actually jump in to this real quick and i'll be right back all right so I hope you don't guys I hope you guys don't mind me just cutting away for that stuff. I uh, just cut out a little bit of time, but we're going to go ahead and learn about her kit now. So her basic deadly double deals damage and inflicts offense down. Uh deal physical damage to target enemy twice and inflict offense down for two turns. This attack can't be countered. If this attack scores a critical hit, also daze them for one turn, and if both hits are critical, deal bonus damage equal to 10% of the target's max health. Ooh. That seems pretty spicy, I'm not gonna lie. But, I'm just gonna put this on auto. Get through it. Pretty, pretty easily, pretty quickly. You know. But, yeah, um, if you guys haven't seen Solo, go ahead and do it. It's pretty, pretty decent. I, I will be honest, I wasn't really expecting much going into it, which... I feel like that's kind of how you have to watch uh, Star Wars movies in the modern age at this point. Um, you just kind of have to go in with no expectations. You know, just ex expect to see a movie, you know? That's pretty much all I can tell you. But uh, we're going to do another cutaway here so we can get on to the next tier of this challenge. Alright, next is her first special, Scattering Blast, uh, which dispels all buffs on the target enemy and damages and staggers all enemies. So, pretty cool. Nothing nothing too fancy there. Um, let's see. This whole, this whole prepared mechanic looks like it's going to be pretty decent. Um, uh, it, it'll be interesting to see if... Uh, if these guys have some pretty good usage in the future but not much going on here just trying to get through the tier so that'll finish it off and we'll be right back with the uh, tier 3 I believe all right her second special is joint operation which deals damage to an enemy and calls an ally to assist I realized we didn't um, I didn't read this one and the last one. So we'll go with the one we're on right now. Um, deal physical damage to target enemy and call another target ally to assist. If that ally is a scoundrel, both attacks deal 30% more damage. Each attack has a 50% chance to expose the target for two turns, even if the target evades. And then if she's prepared, grant all other prepared allies defense penetration up for three turns and call them to assist, and Kira is no longer prepared. Alright, and this one, the Scattering Blast, dispel all buffs on target enemy, deal physical damage to all enemies and stagger them for two turns, attack deals 25% more damage per buff to enemy. 
If Kira is prepared, dispel all buffs on all enemies. Then, Kira is no longer prepared. Alright, so that's pretty cool. Um, might as well just go with him. <laughs> Makes sense. Just, uh, just a little older, you know. But... So, she actually has two unique abilities, which is kind of interesting, um, to be kind of just a secondary character when all is said and done. Then again, we don't know exactly what the future holds for her, so we'll see. But, I'll see you guys in Tier 4, I guess. Alright, her first unique, Tools of the Trade, increases Scoundrel allies' critical chance and gives them bonuses when they score a critical hit. Scoundrel allies have plus 20% critical chance. In addition, whenever they score a critical hit, they recover 10% protection and gain an additional bonus based on their roll for the rest of the battle. After an attacker, they gain plus 10% offense, which is stacking, uh, max 3. All of them are stacking max 3 stacks. A tank will gain 20% critical avoidance, and a support or healer will gain 20 speed. Interesting. Interesting indeed. So. Definitely a lot of, a lot of scoundrel synergy going on, which is pretty cool. I'm interested to see what other new characters we're going to get. Um, I highly, highly anticipate we'll get a new Lando. Um, we could get Beckett, uh, possibly Rio, or Val, maybe some of the Marauders, that'd be pretty cool. I like the Marauders, um, at least the, the leader of the Marauders, I like her helmet. <laughs> I like their armor, it's pretty cool. So it'd be, be pretty neat to see them in the game. But, um, L3, can't forget L3. But we'll be moving on here to the very last tier and learn about Kira's final unique ability. And here we have her final unique, Insult to Injury, which grants Kira bonus potency or critical chance when attacking, depending on if her target is debuffed, and Kira can become prepared if a single enemy is critically hit more than once. So... While attacking, Kira has plus 40% potency if her target isn't debuffed, and plus 30% critical damage if it is. Other scoundrel allies gain half these benefits while attacking. In addition, at the end of each turn, if any single enemy suffered more than one critical hit this turn, Kira becomes prepared and gains 15% turn meter and health still up for one turn. Each other ally that used an ability this turn also gains health still up for one turn. Dang. Uh, actually, that might not be unique. That might be a leader ability. I just thought about that. That very well could be a leader ability. So I do apologize for that. Uh, we can we can check here in a second once her turn comes back up. So, ugh, sure. Um, doesn't tell us. All right. Well, after we unlock her, we'll uh, we'll be sure to check it out. So, all right, and that is the kit of Kira. So, overall, seems pretty legit with uh, the Han and Chewie. So, definitely be on the lookout in arena for these guys, especially if we get more. Um, four characters with prepared and stuff so we're gonna go ahead and unlock her uh, this is a marquee event so she unlocks it too and we get enough shards to bump her to three hopefully you guys are taking uh, pretty good advantage of your double drops this weekend all right so she's a high utility support that uses prepared debuffs and an adaptable leader ability to overwhelm enemies oh okay tools of the trade is her leader okay all right, that makes more sense. Okay. So. Oh, dear goodness. Insult to injury is unique. Tool of the, tool of the trade is the leader. So, like I said, five abilities is pretty... I don't know. Maybe I'm just wrong in thinking that it's really for legendary characters. 
Oh well. We'll go ahead and promote her up. Might as well. Here we go. Three star Kira. But hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this. Uh, stay tuned for any of the other solo characters we get. Also stay tuned for uh, some more of the update things that I'm going to be going over. In case you're curious about some of the things that have been going on. Uh, so just go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of that. Make sure you like and all that good stuff. But that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully see you guys next time. Peace out.